Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the new command palette feature of Microsoft Power Toys. So if you never used Power Toys before, it has all kinds of different tools that you could use to do all kinds of things within Windows. So you should definitely check it out. But we're just going to be talking about the new command palette feature. So if we go to what's new here, we can see this is in version 0.9.0.0. .0 .0. So you need to have this version or higher to have this feature. All right, and you can see it's activated right now. And the activation shortcut is Windows key, Alt space. So if we press that, it gives us a screen in the middle. Let me get rid of this. One thing you'll notice too is if you click off it, you have to do it again. It doesn't stay. All right, so now you have a search box here with a bunch of shortcuts to do certain things such as run commands, open files, uh, do web searches, and so on. So we'll just go through a couple of them here. So you can see here this file option here. So if you press file and then type in a search term. So I did this with Hawaii last and it actually remembered it from last time. So if we get rid of that, let's type in sales, for example, brings up sales. And then you can just double click it from here, whatever you want to do and open it up. There's even an open with option. And then you have some other options down here. You want to see the properties, for example. All right, so Windows key, Alt, Spacebar again. We could do a run command here too, and you could also see the key to trigger that. So I have this up here from last time. Just press Enter, and then I'll open up Command Prompt and start pinging. All right, you can do this with a calculator if you want to do some quick calculations. Uh, we saw the search files. You could add bookmarks, which is what I did here. So some of these you have to double click. So you type in the name and then the URL or file path. So it could be a web browser bookmark as well. And click on save. And then you'll have it in your list here. And I'll open it right up. All right, switch between open apps. You can see the key for that. Or you could just double click it and it shows you what apps are running right now. And then you could just click on the one you want. Search the web. You can see it searches with your default search engine here, which is Firefox. Just type it in, it'll open up your browser and go right to the search results. Uh, search WinGet. If you use WinGet to download applications, you could do that, but most likely you have to have that installed because this computer doesn't have it installed. And you can search for extensions on Winget for the command palette extensions for this app. And you could also search for extensions in the store. No results found. Maybe they don't have any yet. And if you want to see your Windows terminal profiles, we have the Azure Cloud Shell command prompt in Windows PowerShell. And that's that's the same if you were typing terminal. You can see you have the same options here. Now if you want to go to a specific Windows setting, it lists them here. You could kind of narrow it down by clicking there. And it takes you right there. Now if you want to go to the registry, you could do that as well. And here's the key for that. Or you could just double click. Then you could pick where you want to go or search the registry up above here. All right, then we have Windows Services. So say if I go to Print, we got the Print Spooler. I could stop it or restart it from here. Or open services. So one thing to remember when using this is to check the uh, ellipsis down here to see what other options you have for these specific tools here. All right, then we have other settings here, which is open the settings app. Create a new extension for command palette, time and date. This won't actually change the date and time in the system tray to a different format. 
But what you could do is just click on one copy and then you could uh, paste it in somewhere like that. All right, what else we got? Windows system command. You want to shut down, restart your computer, lock, hibernate, and so on. Then we have settings, which will open the settings for command palette, which was the same as we saw here, right there. All right, so as you can see, it's a pretty useful tool. Uh, something might come in handy. So once again, you just need to download Power Toys. So I'll put a link in the description for that. And when you install it, this should be enabled by default. And then you could just go through and play with all the other tools here. There are all kinds of stuff here, as you can see. So this is just the settings. So this is the main app here with the dashboard with enabled modules. You know, it kind of looks the same, same features, but this just kind of shows you where everything is. And then you could go to the settings too and uh, tweak some of the actual settings itself. And then one thing you'll notice too, after you install it, it will be running down here in the system tray. And this Power Toys Awake and the main Power Toys thing down here as well. These usually run. You could right click and exit, you know, kill them if you don't want to use them and that type of thing. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.